signs of disease are not usually apparent prenatally or at birth. A newborn infant who has Hunter syndrome may look normal in the first months and years of life and achieve early developmental milestones. However, by two to four years of age, physical signs and symptoms begin to emerge, and in some cases, cognitive impairment may develop. Noticing Hunter syndrome early on can be challenging because some initial signs and symptoms, such as a chronic runny nose, ear infections, and hernias, are also commonly seen in healthy children. This can lead to delays in diagnosis. The earliest visible signs of Hunter syndrome may be unusual facial features, an enlarged abdomen, and an enlarged tongue and tonsils. Notable facial features are a broad nose with flared nostrils, a prominent brow, thick lips and large jowls, and a large head. The abdomen appears swollen or distended due to an enlarged liver and spleen. These organs do maintain their normal functioning, however, even if they become very large from gag storage. Hernias are commonly seen. Umbilical hernias, which cause a bulge near the navel, are the most common type. Inguinal hernias in the groin are also sometimes seen. In the respiratory tract, airway obstruction is a common symptom. The windpipe, or trachea, may be narrow or abnormally shaped, and the tongue, tonsils, and adenoids may be enlarged. Upper respiratory infections, pneumonia, and thick nasal secretions are common. Most patients experience recurrent ear infections. A distinguishing sign of Hunter syndrome is progressive skeletal changes. The joints become stiffer, and limited range of motion is common. This limited range is due to persistent tightening of soft tissues such as tendons or ligaments. Over time, stiff joints can greatly limit mobility and motor skills and worsen daily quality of life. Hunter syndrome has a range of severity. In the severe form of the disease, patients may have neurological problems that progress to severe mental impairment. Behavioral problems, cognitive problems, and hyperactivity are common. Patients with the less severe or attenuated form of Hunter syndrome generally have normal intelligence and no mental impairment. However, they will experience the other signs and symptoms throughout the body.